I'm Jeff Suda at Ibanez USA, and I am here to show you how to set up a base to playing specifications. First, while changing a string, what you want to do is make sure the instrument is relatively in tune uh, to keep the tension on the neck. Now, loosen the first string. You want to take one string off at a time to keep the tension on the neck. I start with the low E or the thickest string, get it loose, pull the string out. I'm going to take it off and leave the rest of the strings on so it keeps the tension on the neck. Once you've done that, place it with the new string. The ball end you want to put in the side of this bridge just like that and once you do that you want to hold your thumb onto it because as you're tuning it sometimes it will come loose. And once uh, the ball end is placed into the saddle, you want to take the string and go up about three inches above the post, away from the body. You want to cut about two to three inches away from the body past the tuning post. Once you've done that, take the, the end that you just uh, cut off, and put straight down the tuning post into the slot. There's a hole in the middle there and you'll want to bend it downward, sort of kink it, and then apply some tension to it so it kinks around the edge of the post, just to get your first half winding. Then you want to keep tension over the nut, sort of push it downward so the rest of the winding comes underneath the first winding coming out of the post. And you can even, I like to have the winding directly in contact underneath the first winding coming out of the post. It stabilizes your tuning. And your first string is tuned. Here at Ibanez, we use Elixir strings. Um, the reason I like them is because if you're a bass player like me, have that has multiple instruments, um, you tend to favor certain instruments and play them more. And when you decide to go back to an instrument you haven't played in a while, the strings are fresh, the sound is bright, and it's ready to go. And that's why I like Elixir strings.